And so to far less weighty matters, the making of Toy Story, a product of the Disney studio, but unlike any other Disney film in that it's the first feature-length animated cartoon to use a computer-generated process that gives an almost three-dimensional effect. Kirsty Young explains. <laughs> you did it! Next stop, Andy! Wait a minute. I just lit a rock. Rockets explode! Computer-generated imagery, or CGI for short, has been with us since 1959. It was developed in America by computer company IBM for General Motors to help in automobile design. By 1980, the process was advanced enough for Disney to sink $20 million into CGI for the science fiction film Tron. Although that was a box office flop, it did inspire former Disney artist and Oscar winner John Lasseter to turn committedly to new technology. However, before the computer whiz kids get their turn, it's still the role of traditional animators to thrash out the story using more conventional methods. This is a story session on, on Toy Story, and this is where we work out the basic idea of the story. Sergeant, establish a recon post downstairs. Code Red, you know what to do. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! He hops off and he goes down by the bucket of soldiers. He goes, all right, men, you heard him. Code red, repeat. We are in code red. Recon, plan, Charlie. Play, execute. Let's move, 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 move. From the script, we produce um, storyboards, and then they're presented in this form. But contrary to expectations, these early drawings, or later glossier versions, never find their way into a computer. Whilst the inanimate backgrounds can be created directly within the computer using a drawing program, all the lifelike characters that inhabit those backgrounds and tell the story start out not in two dimensions, but as clay sculptures. These are then digitally scanned into the computer. Here we see some of the 800 points of reference for Buzz Lightyear's character being scanned. The computer gradually builds up a three-dimensional description of Buzz's shape. We're all very impressed with Andy's new toy. Toy? Toy. T-O-Y. Toy. Excuse me, I, I think the word you're searching for is... Toy. Excuse me, I, I think the word you're searching for is Space Ranger. I think the word you're searching for is Space Ranger. The word I'm searching for, I can't say, because there's preschool toys present. Getting kind of tense, aren't you? Here, Tom Hanks records the voice for the character of Woody. Later, animators will tweak the 270 controls in computerized Woody's face to match Hanks' intonation and delivery. Is he addressing Potato Head specifically? This was no accident. He's looking. OK, all right, OK. I mean, Humpty Dumpty was pushed no. by Woody. What? Wait, Wait a minute. minute. You, 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 you don't, don't think, think I meant to knock Buzz, buzz out, the out the window, window. Do, do you, Potato, potato Head? head? That's Mr. Potato Head to you, you backstabbing murderer. The movie rips along, but the technology is labor intensive. Toy Story took 10 man years to complete, but its American box office success looks set to usher in a wave of imitators. Get up here and give me a hand. <laughs> well, those effects really are very impressive. Toy Story will be released on March the 22nd.